Okay, y'all, we're gonna talk about some weirdness today. Some awkward things. Um, things are weird. <laughs> and um, let's start with the eight-pointed star. Um, it's something I've been noticing lately. Uh, obviously, lots of people have talked about all kinds of symbolism, the pyramid with the eye and the, or the all-seeing eye and all kinds of stuff. And I've considered that a lot of the symbolism is part of uh, the protocol with a capital P, like the Plumbus Protocol or whatever. Um, it's just like uh, maybe even the symbols are most, mostly um, an attention magnet. And if that's the case, then I'm a fool for focusing my attention on them um, right now. But, uh, so, I mean, the, the all-seeing eye might even be like a, like a dummy symbol. Like, it might have multiple meanings, and then it also might have a function of just being there to, to make us to draw us in, to hijack our focus, or, I don't know, to distract. I think that's the word I'm looking for. But anyways, let's talk about this eight-pointed star, this thing right here. been noti noticing it in multiple places, um, and uh, here's one place. Ooh, because I, I actually like this channel. I'm not accusing them of anything, but... Uh, there's some awkwardness, conspiracy RS, same type of thing. Could be a coincidence. And also just because a symbol appears somewhere, like a lot of symbolism is just like deeply psychologically rooted in like the psychological archetypes or whatever. So um, we might just, we might not be in on it, but we might be, you know, just, we might resonate with a symbol for whatever reason, and I don't know, whatever. But I've noticed a trend of a lot of, uh, slightly related, because um, a lot of music channels have um, strange symbolism, YouTube music channels, and uh, the Psychedelic Muse uh, it has this eight-pointed star, and then the cat is, for some reason, um, a popular logo for a lot of these channels. And the channels that use the cat have a lot of the uh, Illuminati symbolism, or whatever you want to call it. Um, Mr. Suicide Sheep, just the name of it, it's like trying to um, get humans to opt into their own demise, like sheep going off a cliff, or like lemmings going off a cliff or something, you know what I mean? And then there's the, the sheep with the X over the eye. The X over the eye is a big thing um, in the anti, or in the, in the campaign, the symbolism of the campaign against humanity, if you want to call it that, and if that's even what it is, but uh, suicide sheep, um, yeah, the name of it, and then some of the symbolism appearing on the site. Um, the X over the I. So it's like, it's the agenda is to try and get humans to make bad choices to off themselves slowly but surely, possibly. There's another one I like, a lot of good music on this channel. Um, but they have the cat logo with the, the teeth. Here's another one, uh, like kind of a cat with the teeth. And they have a lot of, a lot of weird symbolism on these, like the this, this skull and uh, the X over the eyes with this artist, Marshmallow. Makes some good songs. I, I actually, I really like a few of them. And then the other, another one is like the, the hel helmet. Um, it's another thing we see on a lot of these artists. Like, could be they just don't want to be famous or whatever, but like Daft Punk and... And I, I don't really know how to place all this, because, I mean, I like... I feel like there's good energy coming through these 
a lot of these songs and channels. So I don't quite know how to place everything, but this other one, some cool songs I like. Um, I don't know, the skull and the like human cloning thing or whatever that is, uh, just strange imagery. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, you don't, you don't need me to tell you that there's a strange symbolism all over the music industry and movie industry. I've been noticing the all seeing eye in the Harry Potter movies and all kinds of stuff. But, um, I, I can't quite piece it together. Like, that's why I, th I think maybe it's kind of like the symbolism as a whole is kind of like the, kind of akin to a knob on one of the blocks, megalithic blocks in Peru, just like a, a dummy feature, like, uh, or like distraction um, features. Like maybe, maybe all these narratives about the human cloning and underground bases and stuff, maybe that's all a lie, like just as a distraction. Maybe it's true or maybe it's like garbled, you know. Um, moving along here, just going through these tabs. This channel again with the cat and the eight-pointed star. And I've noticed a lot of psychedelic artists have the all-seeing eye in their symbolism. Uh, not necess I don't know what it means, so maybe it doesn't mean anything. Again, like a dummy feature or distraction. Or maybe it's like the... I could imagine it being used in all sorts of deceptive or nonsensical ways, so I don't even really want to try and break it down. But here's another music channel with the eight-pointed star, and it's got a lot of esoteric uh, themes in it. Um, not quite sure what to make of it, um, but let's click on it and see what's there. Um, it's a little odd. Even like Halo Top Ice Cream, <laughs> like, I wonder where that name comes from. <laughs> like, to top the Halo, to, I don't know. See, the thing is, like, the more you get into, like, conspiracy theories, the more, like, you you see it everywhere. So it's, like, either... It's probably a little of both. Like, there's reality to some of this. And then there's also, like, just copycatting and... And just seeing connections where there are none. But, like, like this horn. I don't know. Um... The fair, the fairy world aesthetic, which is cool in a certain context, but it's like a demented fairy world thing going on here with the eight-pointed star. I don't know. Could be nothing. Could be something. Uh, John Levi. I like his channel. He talks a lot about a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm consider. I, I mean, I'm the first person to hate getting into. Any like he said, she said stuff. Um, so I feel like, I almost feel like a small man for uh, even talking about this, but just raising the issue that like he 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 mentioned that like he just likes this symbol and he's always liked it in one of his videos. So I mean that's definitely possible. Um, um, Conspiracy RS, the only place I really see it is right here, and that's, it, it is eight points. Um, just considering that possibly these things, these pages are like AI generated or whatever, and it's also possible that they're just, like, anything that is AI generated with symbology is, like, designed to get you to study it. Kind of like Quantum of Conscience says on his channel, um, like, they want you studying the gibberish or the the nonsense or the pissed on breadcrumbs as it calls them um but uh i mean i don't know what to say just because 
there's so much weirdness going on right now. And I bring the, I bring up the eight pointed star mostly because here it is on John Levi conspiracy RS. And then this dude Donald Marshall, if you've heard of him, he has some interesting things to say in the least, or to say the least, about you know, cloning centers and uh, blah blah blah. Um, you've probably heard of him. Um, honestly, I wouldn't get into it just because at this point I'm like um, considering that he might be uh, either a mixed truth teller, like some truth, some lies, or just like all lies, um, or all truth. I mean, I'm open to that still too. It, it resonated with me when I heard the material, but like, check this out. Who the heck has a symbol? Like, do you have a symbol? I don't have a symbol. And he's, he, um, so here's his Facebook page and, um, uh, Sorry, I'm having trouble with my mouse. Um, let's see. So he's like this whistleblower guy of all these, of the Illuminati and stuff. And he posts a picture every day to like let people know he's alive or whatever. But uh, he's all about the, the eight pointed star and um, not quite sure what it means. Uh, eight-pointed star, eight-pointed star, like, like, who has a logo? I don't have a logo. <laughs> I mean, if I were a business, like, I'm, I would consider it, um, eight-pointed star, uh, this, you could consider, he's just, like, outing, like, you can find an all-seeing eye on my pictures on my Facebook, just because I was, you know, trying to raise awareness of the fact that uh, it's out there, um, meaning something being used by somebody for some purpose. Um, um, eight point of star. Um, I just took some screenshots of his photos. Uh, I might miss a couple important ones. Um, there, there. Six-pointed star for reference, or f whatever, uh, in the coffee. Yeah, but I just, I, it might be like, because I think the deceivers, or at least some faction of some deceiving group, um, is requir required to out themselves in subtle ways. Um, so... Uh, I think that eight-pointed star is might be a way of doing that. So I guess that would be my point on this eight whole eight-pointed star deal is that it might be where where you see it, it's possible that it's like a an, a high-level operation going on there, and they're telling you that it's an operation by showing you the eight-pointed star as a way of out, outing themselves. Uh, why an eight-pointed star? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, it's possible they just choose arbitrary symbols, but um, okay, so this guy, Donald Marshall, he's he's done a, an interview or two with his someone uh, he calls his friend, and this guy um, calls Don, Donald Marshall his friend, um, and he's like doing some similar whistleblowing and stuff too, talking about this similar stuff. Um, I don't know if he has direct experience with it, like Donald allegedly does, but he's got like, he's got this symbol, like he says, this is my symbol. Um, like, <laughs> why do you have a symbol? And uh, could be he just borrowed it from Donald because he thought it was cool, but like, I don't know, man. I am rubbed the wrong way, officially. Um, Another another thing, or one thing Donald Marshall said is that the, the Great Pyramid is a vril trap, and vril is like a one to two foot tall lizard, apparently, that lives underground, deep underground, like a quasi-intelligent quasi species of, like, lizard person, like a small one. And he says the shafts of the Great Pyramid are vril traps, like, like a cockroach trap, like we would make. 
they crawl in here and they can't get out. And I just think that's not true. Um, so either he was lied to, or he is making it up, or something along those lines. Um, it's poss certainly possible he's fed all kinds of misinformation if he does have some true things to say. Um, uh, uh, but uh, the reason I don't think this is true is because I'm leaning towards the explanation that the pyramid is more or less a plumbus. So these are just like uh, dummy features, uh, like you could imagine a supercomputer which was asked to um, spit out a structure with um, a whole smorgasbord of interesting um, nuances and idiosyncrasies um, mapped to various um, types of uh, features of the building. Like, um, you could just make something with uh, the the proportions, you know, the sacred geometry proportions and the, um, the diameters of all these shafts, the different diameters, um, and um, the chambers and all that. So I'm saying it's like a... Uh, so I think that the pyramid is a nothing show. Um, I, th I think I'm borrowing, borrowing um, that from David Seaman, the pizza gay guy. Um, I think he said nothing burger <laughs> in one of his, uh, chats or rants. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like nothing burger. I think the pyramid is like a nothing burger. Like it's a bunch of features that are suggestive, but ultimately not functional in the way that we think they might've been. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll talk a whole lot more about that in upcoming uh, Plumbus videos, but I don't think this is a trap, <laughs> a cockroach trap for little lizard people. It's certainly possible, but um, I bring this up because if Donald Marshall is not telling the truth, then it's also possible that a lot of others are not who um, seem who seem genuine. Um, and that's why it's very awkward. <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, I don't know, maybe, like, I'm reconsidering. I mean, I probably should have... Okay, I'll just go to the next tab. I googled feeling gullible. <laughs> because, just to, I just, to organize, I just write down what I'm gonna say for the presentation. But, um... Yeah, I'm feeling gullible because I spent like a decade or more like researching uh, all these conspiracy theories and topics and stuff. And I, I think it's like a, a big head spin. Like it just some kind of um, Lochnar, as it's called, or um, a, a big um, supercomputer or something with access to high knowledge and uh, large computational capacity. Um, it's as if it's just generating a dynamic illusion. Um, and, uh, okay, so the, the, uh, the Lacerda files. Okay, so for exa an example of this uh, dynamic illusion. Um, three, three documents that resonated with me. Um, were uh, the Emerald Tablets of Thoth and the also the the Lacerta files and also um, uh, interview with a Roswell alien and I never really believed these outright um, I mean I certainly didn't but for whatever reason they resonated with me and uh, um, I think there's a strong possibility if you just go do some research or listen to those or whatever. I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. It'll spin your head around. Um, like, hope, like, just seriously, like, don't. <laughs> like, uh, that's why I'm feeling gullible, because, like, 
I put all my all this time and energy into consuming all this content and then it's like amounted to nothing except realizing that they were mostly devoid of um, truth but it's possible that they um, part of the protocol is to um, release the truth for the liar uh, so the liars have to release the truth um, but they can do it however they want so they spin it with a whole bunch of lies um, so it's possible that in all these um, possible high-level operations and uh, uh, alleged leaked documents um, which are um, I forgot how I started this sentence it's possible that all, all these outputs are 90% truth and or 90% lies and 10% truth or I don't know the percentage but just a mix of truth and lies so it's like a, a big head spin um, uh, I don't necessarily regret studying all of this stuff but I can't say I have it I have anything to show for it except for maybe maybe I've gleaned some of the truth from from the lies but um, I think Og Telez might be the same. I've, I've uh, shown a couple links of Og's, Og Telez's in my previous videos. He has some interesting things to say and he has given us reason to believe that he's here to help. But he also, like, his sentences are, like, not sound and he contradicts himself a lot and um, almost, like... I don't know. I feel like a fool for for following these people or um, for getting roped in, if that makes sense. Um, so it's like any anybody associated with these whistleblower type scenarios, like the secret space program stuff and all kinds of shit. Like there's so much um, disinformation. Uh, I suspect. And I think um, I think there may be genuine whistleblowers out there and uh, or like people coming forward saying stuff like even the satanic ritual abuse stuff like I, I can't I can't even say having consumed so much of that information I can't even say that like I, I believe it I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of it's true, um, at a high level, uh, but, um, and also, also the Pizzagate and Pedogate stuff and all that, um, wouldn't surprise me if it's true, but, uh, it also wouldn't surprise me at this point if it's not true at all, like, if it's just like a, once again, a, a, a head spin, um, a distracting, like, Eddie, or like a, a curiosity trap, like you, you uh, it pulls in curious, gullible people like me, <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's not like I believed this stuff, I've just, I'm like seeking, I'm looking for the old truth about what, what's going on, what the world is, maybe the secret like the the answer to what the secret of the world is is to or like the secret of life maybe the secret of life is to like not waste your energy trying to find out what the secret of life is <laughs> like i don't know i'm i may have wasted a lot of time i mean i have wasted a lot of time on just like lazy lazy stuff like movies and all kinds of um Dude from uh, dude from Big Lebowski type stuff, just like lazing around. But I also think I may have wasted a lot of time on looking for the answers. Maybe, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of done like looking to other people for 
for the answers or, or like especially for the specifics like of what what went down where and who did what and what what their group name is and what their because uh, uh, even even if you could find the truth like I, I feel like there's some kind of operation to scramble everything so it's like I don't know I'm just self self therapying right now <laughs> Give myself a little therapy session. Um, and uh, what else? Um, this channel covering a lot of ancient anomalies and stuff. Uh, I just noticed full screen real quick. In a couple episodes, he's worn this T-shirt. I mean, he he seems to like cool and interesting T-shirt T-shirts. I can't talk right now. Um, he he wears a variety of cool stuff, but um. So I can't, I can't like just say, oh, I think he's like in the Illuminati or whatever because he wore a, a t-shirt on one of his vid videos. You know, that's not much to go on. And uh, but, uh, I'm just using it as an example. Like, um, well, obviously uh, the movie industry, the music industry, and also the clothing, clothing industry, if you pay attention, is highly uh, uh, saturated with the, Illuminati symbolism, um, you probably already know that, um, uh, I just wonder if there's a slight chance that wearing this t-shirt is deliberate, uh, once again, awkward, um, here it is, wearing the same t-shirt in a different video, maybe just filmed, filmed it on the same day or whatever, but I just like to I would I would like to take this opportunity to uh, publicly state that I stand against the agenda to spear the human mind and or heart and or soul on the pyramid of the all-seeing eye. Um, I I even changed my uh, my channel uh, page like background. I, I navigate like an idiot. Sorry. Um, luckily, my internet's not working. I mean, is working. <laughs> I'm not going to be editing as much just because I want to pick up the pace here. So it's going to be a little more off the cuff. And uh, where's my damn channel? With my impressive subscriber count. Uh, I changed this thing because it was like, it was just like two blurry um, ovals and it looked like it, it well I took it from one of the math projects I was working on just like cosines and stuff and it just made it was like a cross-section of a torus field and it just looked cool but I thought it kind of looked like uh, almost looked like the eyes of the snake in the Vatican or the alleged snake eyes in the Vatican or whatever so I just thought why why risk it and uh, I don't want to mislead anybody and I don't want to, I want to be pretty careful not to put any actual symbolism. Um, I don't think I really have anything, but, um, yeah, I don't know what to do, man. It's just weird. Uh, I, even this guy, like, uh, I really like his content and I would say that about all of these things I've mentioned so far. I really like their content. Um, uh, I just, m this may be a stretch, it's, it, but uh, just the, the logo uh, could be construed as eight pointed star. Um, but then also I think one of his, yeah, he's got like a triangle one too. So it's, I don't know. It's not, it's, I don't think it's an eight-pointed star, so I think this guy hopefully is genuine. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, yeah, there's, it could, could be the eight-pointed star deal. Um, and I know he watches this channel, so <laughs> high five, whatever, whatever the deal is. I hope you're, you have a good evening. Um. <laughs> 
Um, we're having fun, folks. And, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Uh, why, um, oh, just the name. See, that I'm now I'm seeing, like, all the symbolism and uh, implica implied agenda everywhere. Like, Greylock Venture Capital Partners. I was looking into venture capital and, like, startup incubators and stuff. So I think, was thinking about starting a business. I, um, I can't really do that while I'm finishing the, the tooling of Earth. But, um, uh, yeah, I was looking into f trying to find a way to get one of my other projects going, one of my creative projects. And, uh, but, yeah, they have a... Uh, just the name Greylock, like I was thinking Locke, the the gray matter of the brain. Like, as if this is an agenda, or uh, a whistleblow of an agenda to lock down the gray matter of humans. And uh, kind of Pied Piper us into, or baby step us into a future where we are even dumber than we are now, and even less in control of ourselves, um, like, and, uh, more, more food for whatever is using us for energy, if that's even happening, that, that could also be a deception as well, maybe there are no interdimensional parasites or anything like that, you know, I don't know, um, but yeah, they they have a podcast called Gray Matter Podcast, so, um, kind of see that's the thing these these uh these things that could be um, outing themselves they also could be um, something completely innocent and benign. So I, I can't go out and publicly say, oh, I think these guys are. Um, Playing for the uh, the bad guys team, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. Um, but gray matter is obviously a word for the brain, and their name is Gray Lock, so it's like they're ta they're trying to lock down the gray matter, um, possibly. And once again, I it could be just me seeing all kinds of connections that are like seeing connections where there are none. Um, uh, yeah, it could be that. Um, anyways, moving on. Oh, and also one of the partners, venture partners, I saw one of his profile pictures had like just one eye, just like half, half of his face or part of his face with the one eye. So that made me wonder as well. Um, and once again, just to give people the benefit of the doubt, uh, it could be the case that 100% of the people I've mentioned so far are just like genuine and this is all chance um, or coincidence um, and that they're not like in on it or in on anything um, or some of them or whatever. <laughs> uh, anyways, while I was researching... Um, business and funding and venture capital and all this uh, i stumbled on to this brand uh they have their headquarters where i live in san clemente god damn it and um they make socks and uh the socks have all the illuminati symbolism on it like the i in the pyramid the x and the o this see this isn't necessarily an o but the X over the O is a, a symbol that's been explored as well, and um, these guys are heavily funded. Uh, and let's just look at their socks real quick. Um, like uh, there was one with a flying pyramid eye and. I don't know, it could be like a fashion thing. Uh, where was it, man? Uh, 
I don't know, whatever. But um, here's their headquarters, and this I saw the same like all seeing eye. Uh, this is kind of abstract, but like the one eye thing could just be psychedelic. Uh, I feel like I saw more blatant stuff in. Uh, on other pages. Um, sorry for the delay here. But they're like the official sock of the NBA and MLB. Uh, but they have a lot of all seeing eye symbolism and. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't find it right now. This is sloppy video making. Oh, so I'll, I'll move on. Uh, also, this company Lost is uh, kind of along the theme of like humans trying to make humans lost, maybe. Anyways, sorry, this stance thing wasn't a super strong point. Um, but in conclusion, things are weird and I'm not sure what's what and who's who at this point. So if I seem like standoffish or, uh, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know. Some people might not be people. <laughs> <laughs> I've considered the possibility that if you've seen Rick and Morty, um, the TV show, uh, there's a character called Unity in one of the episodes, and it, it's a it's a hive mind. I've even considered the possibility that there's like a hive mind here on Earth, and that's been alluded to in many movies. Um, uh, theme wise um, but like maybe uh, ev even entire people in their entire lives are like um, tendrils or uh, arms octopus arms of this one <laughs> hive mind entity or like we're partially this hive mind entity to the degree uh, that we resonate with the the vibe that it's broadcasting, like, um, I, uh, I don't know, things are weird, things are weird in general, things are weird for me, <laughs> and this video is weird, and stay weird, friends, okay, um, more, um, more content coming out this week, hopefully, this week, so, uh, I will see you later, bye.